Yo, what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, BA, and we are back again with another video, man. Over the past couple weeks, I've had quite a few people come into my stream. If you guys aren't following me, make sure you follow me. Link down below on Twitch. We are almost at 1,000 followers, so help your boy out. Um, but we've had a lot of people come in and ask about the great sword in bow build um, that we posted at the end of last year and if it's still viable and if it's still something that you can use and just how it's running in season two. Um, I can honestly admit before that I hadn't really uh, ventured back into the great sword bow combo. Um, more recently, I have been using a lot of sword and shield bow and spear bow, um, but I decided to give it a chance and I am very excited I did. I've been having a lot of fun. I forgot just how much I love the great sword as a weapon. Um, it can be used in just so many different cases and it's uh, a very, very powerful weapon. Um, so it's a good addition with a lot of different uh, weapon combos. Um, soon I'm gonna have the, the bow and sword and shield video as well as sword and shield and great sword as well um, for a medium melee build. Um, but back to this one, um, I won't keep you guys waiting. So we did bring back out the great sword and bow build, but this time we made a few changes. So we are going 200 constitution. Um, I tried to go a bit lower and you do hit very hard. I did put some, um, some points into strength and try that out. And overall, I think it comes down to, to just personal preference on, um how good you are at getting in and out of fights and, and doing your damage me personally i like to sit there and brawl and with 100 con 50 con um you kind of get dealt with pretty quickly if you don't know what you're doing um so i personally bumped up to 200 con and 310 dex that's the combination i've been running um, because i didn't want to lose any more damage with the bow um the bow still hits very very hard and the great sword still hits very hard it's, it doesn't hit as hard as it possibly can but with this build in particular as far as how i've been using it it works for me and it slaps um so really quickly i'll just uh show you guys the gear that i am running with this build and then we'll go over the skill trees for it um so pretty much it's pretty standard i don't think i really have any any key pieces just running some elemental aversion refreshing and um, resilient on this piece we got physical inversion um just to help out a little little bit against the other bows um these if you guys have not invested in the patterns for the event that is currently going on right now the summer medley fair um please put a little bit of time into that event because you can get some really 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 good pieces crafted yourself um just from the 600 gear score patterns um because it automatically gives you elemental aversion and refreshing and then uh rolling resilient isn't um actually that hard for these patterns um so it's a good way to get you a really solid pvp set um across whatever build you want to try out just by uh investing a little bit of time in that event and grabbing those patterns um but moving on we do have shirking energy on our pants so we don't have uh elemental aversion um but i do have a pair of pants with elemental aversion um i might swap those out and see how that works um but overall i've been really really enjoying this build i think this is the only piece that uh has a, a weapon ability on it and i have the lasting rain of arrows um but sometimes i do swap that out for these guys right here um i don't think refreshing ward is an amazing perk to have with this build in particular um so i tend to, to run the, the shrieking uh shrieking fort rain of arrows boots um more often but i do really like the the uh, penetrating rapid shot resilient combo um, so I do throw those on from time to time with this build as well. Um, moving on to our weapons, uh, we're using the Flesh Ripper um, that gives us Vicious, Play Crits, and Kingly Jagged. Um, honestly, I just wanted something that is going to put pressure on them because I don't expect to be melee all the time but when i get into the battle for melee i want to put a lot of pressure on them um and this has been working out uh great as far as um 
just a named weapon that we were able to pick up and use with this build. Um, for our bow, we are still rocking the entombment, enchanting, keenly empowered. It still hits like a brick, and as long as you can continuously land your shots, um, it really, really works out. So I moved from keenly jagged to this for personal reason or to keenly empowered for personal reasons, just because I wasn't landing enough of my shots consecutively so with that keenly empowered you got five seconds of that 15 uh, percent empowered so you have to make that five seconds count um so it definitely has allowed me to um lock in on hitting my shots a little bit more and it kind of gave me something to to focus with um, but i do think in the future i will try to look for uh a, a keenly jagged um vicious attunement bow and um and see how i'm rocking out but this has been um holding me over for quite some time so i'm gonna i'm gonna hold on to it for a while um for our jewelry we're using a champion's amulet um the heart a daleo a ring for the extra uh thrust damage um for the bow um and then lastly we are using our legendary combo of healthy toast refreshing and refreshing toast for our earring um and then lastly let's move over to our skill trees i don't think we made much changes with our great sword skill tree from previously the combination of these three abilities has worked really really well for me um relentless rush just allows you to get in situations fast allow you to get out of situations fast and then also with the um with the buff you get 10 percent empowered on it um you get a little bit of uh root or um okay yeah root or heals um same ability um depending on what stands you're coming out into before you use the ability um and then uh, Skyward Slash is awesome. I actually love it. The ability to change your direction mid-air works in my favor so often, as well as I love the stagger. Um, and it adds a rend onto the uh, target as well. Uh, and then lastly, we're going to go with Steed Fast Strike, mainly because of the pullback. Um, when I first started doing melee, like right at the beginning of the game, I loved the Great Axe for um, the Reap ability, that, that pullback. So this kind of gives me that kind of feel. It's not as good as uh, Reap is um, as far as pulling enemies in, but it does a really, really good job of stopping enemies from getting away from you um, and putting that pressure on the enemies uh, that I like to put on them. Um, lastly, we will move over to the bow and we have been rocking this combination since the start of season two for the DOTs with poison shot and rain of arrows, um, as well as rapid shot for the third to follow up. I secure a lot of kills with rapid shot. So it's very, very hard for me to let go of rapid shot. Um, I think if there was one change that I was to make with this build, I would probably swap out poison shot for either evade shot or explosive arrows. I think evade shot would just give you a little bit more mobility in this build i do feel like if you use your uh, relentless rush um to enter the fight you really don't have a way of getting out so if you're going to use relentless rush to enter the fight make sure you're ending that fight right then and there because you won't really have too much of a chance to get away using these three abilities um, as well as explosive arrow explosive arrow does give you a huge chunk of damage as well as some dlts over time but i like the the 20 percent weapon damage that this has um and then um the extension to 10 seconds on this as well um so i i'm a big fan of poison shot i've always been a big fan of poison shot um just the amount of damage that it does over time is awesome and it gives us that dot um both of these abilities kind of give us that dot without having to have keenly jagged on our uh weapon and running the keenly empowered um but ultimately that's just really going to do it for this one guys um i don't have really too much to add as well um 
outside of just saying that this build is still awesome i've still been having a lot of fun using it and it's definitely one that i'm going to be uh putting back into rotation when uh going into my oprs and 3v3s one thing that i did notice is that this build works really really well in the old 3v3 map um I'm ready for the for the new map to come back back in rotation. I'm not a big fan of how they're doing this like two week thing. Um, I would be, uh, I think I would be a bigger fan if they just gave us the second map and we was like, hey, we're we gonna take the first map out for a little bit. We're gonna make some changes to make it uh, play out a little bit more smooth like the second map does. Um, but ultimately, this is a build that I'll I'll be taking into three v threes and um, it's definitely gonna be one of my main OPR builds um, depending on how I'm feeling with the bow. Um, but as I said earlier, we have both Sword and Shield video coming as well as Sword and Shield Greatsword medium build um, videos coming. Um, so I do want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, make sure you guys follow me on Twitch. If you guys like this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.